Hi there, once again on Google Cloud. Last video, we were debugging a code. And um, right here, I would we're going to continue from the debugging to a reporting. So right here, I have just breakpoints. It's the code running right here. You're gonna create a question, whatever, for the name. Let's select category. For the title, let's check out an image. Wherever the image is. For the first answer, debug. Error reporting login and let's select should be hitting the point here you have all the data expected perfect yeah everything you would like to to have so is already gone perfect so right now we're going to change something we're going to the questions js we're gonna click the log point we're gonna be the buggy window if the log point there's an interactive editor we're gonna add something To here, we're gonna add something. Okay, that's the way we like to do it. It's gonna add. Mm, wait, we are gonna here log point add. There won't be a message. We'll be interactive editor. Let's give it a debug or whatever. On the debug window, we're gonna click some here, gonna add this. Should be interactive mode. Shot. Let's take it out. Let's select another place to put it. Let's put in the data variable. So log point. There is an info. Let's click add. Let's write this. Okay. And let's back again. Create a question. From my log point, nothing to to have it on the snapshot. We're going to define a data. Looks like it didn't hit the point, but should have a login stuff. Okay.
looks like didn't hit it correctly, but let's I like to remove this lock point. Delayed lock point, I would like to prolog point. Clear on snapshot, you click right here. Then on family three, you can add lock point. On seven three, you put this message, add. Okay. We put even a 74. Let's do that again. Login history. Ah, oh, here you go. There is a lot of history on the snapshot data. This is already gone, so it's going to be indefined. So that's how you can introduce a login point into the snapshot code. So in this case, right here, I'm just going to remove. Look, looks like sometimes it get very slow. That's the log point. Also the snapshot. No worries. And now we're gonna use error reporting. Let's go back to the shell. This is the source repository. Try to establish connection again. Let's wait. Back where you were. Go to default folder and are going to install the error reporting. They're going to share the code. Which we have a couple of things here. It's a Node.js application. Okay, perfect. No, <coughs> sorry. Now we're going to change this default API, okay? So we're going to change the code right here. We're going to introduce this error reporting stuff requiring this constant. Then we're going to add the after the app, we're going to add I'm going to create an object, every reporting, okay. Then after, this middleware for express, let's save the file. So now we're back here. Default. And a message. Should be already here. If you double check the app, JS. <laughs> okay.
Should we have push it right here? Well, it's not showing, but it looks like there's refreshing timing and stuff. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to debug into a file to put directory. I'm going to export an MVVAR. And I'm going to start the application. This is the app. Now we are going to the error reporting. Click in the wrong place. State driver. Just minimize this a little bit. So here we're gonna take a test. There's a setup here reporting. I have to ignore it. In this case, we're going to click into the way right here. Let's go to the application. You can close documentation or like take test places. Here the error message expected. Okay. We got two. Here we go. Five not found. It's the same. It's gonna be grouping all of that. You see here. Let's Rating three. Sending the message. In this case, right here we're going to do something specially. Also, we're going to stop the application. I'm going to create a, a pop up top. Created. Now I'm going to another folder, it's called stick driving, air reporting. I'm going to show the code right here. Air reporting, debugging, air reporting. There somewhere, this app is this one. Now I'm going to create a cloud function. We're going to process feedback in the name of the node. It's gonna trigger a topic called feedback with the search of the function on the stage bucket to the bucket we're giving the enterprise subscribe. Take some minutes to deploy this function. We got an issue. Deprecated Node.js 10, whatever. Let me try to execute the things. Let's take uh, start the code itself. Let's take um, make, take a test places.
Okay, the message was perfectly sent. There's no error of this message. It'll be loading. We have the recent samples. Let's click on research not found. I'm gonna check this. Oh, many times was called function. It's perfect. There is a place here called recent samples. Okay. We can view the logs. So now, in a while, you're going to be going to the, to the shell. Back again on the shell. Here's playing all the logs. Logging this is pretty cool. We can, can create a sync to BigQuery from here from the login. We're gonna clean all these things. We're open our cloud shell. I got to create a spanner database. It's done. I restart it. I closed it. So that that would have to insert something on my database. Should have more login and fill. Time to now. Looks like it's draining the, the login. Right here. I'll leave. This code is gonna leave. I'm going to the spanner. Here the thing I would expect it to work it would have an insertion on my code. So simple to integrate the Node.js with the Spanner database. I'm not sure if there's an inserted. Very cool. No. Nothing inserted, there was something went wrong after I check the login. But my code is right here, what I just tested. I would double check for the spanner connection, but it's not nothing I would expect, it was just a very fast train. Anyway, I could share the reporting. Also, the final of the bug introducing a log point <coughs> and running a Node.js application. <coughs> Sorry. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.